me just show you the grounds of the around the grounds of the historical Jamestown settlement. It says here burial of a European man estimated age mid thirties interred with a captain's leading staff. This is likely the grave of Captain Bartholomew Gosnold, Gosnold the prime moving force between behind this plantation here at Jamestown. Behind me actually is a burial ground of some original settlers. The James Fort Burial Ground. About 20, 25 people that died here in 1607. Now Jamestown is the birthplace of the United States. The first permanent uh, British settlement in North America in 1607. And this is the burial ground here of some of the original settlers that came over in 1907. Let me show you further along the grounds here in Jamestown right now. I'm approaching a well here. This well was in use in the first quarter of the 17th century, dating to the early years of Jamestown when no longer usable, wells were used as a place to put garbage. This added many unwanted items mixing with the few items that had been unintentionally dropped into the well while it was in use. So this is, uh-huh, okay. It does look like garbage in there actually. The Hunt Shrine. This shrine is dedicated to the memory of the Reverend Robert Hunt, 1568 to 1608, the first Anglican minister of the colony. Looks like he also perished very, very quickly after coming over in 1907. First Anglican minister. That was one of the avowed goals of the Jamestown uh, colony here is number one to wrestle territory away from the Spanish colonies and also to establish ang um, the Anglican Church here in North America. So uh, obviously ministers were part of the original um, group of settlers that came here, 140 men and boys in 1607. Confederate earthworks. These earthworks were erected by Confederate troops in 1861 as part of the defense system to block Union penetration of the James River. You can see the earthworks right here. This sort of wall of earth. There's more archaeology going on here because really um, Jamestown was an active settlement in the 1600s but then um, the head of, uh, head of the colony moved away to Williamsburg, which is not far from here, and the colony actually fell into disuse. And over the years, um, most of it got covered up by deposits from the river. Let's see what archaeology specialists are showing out here. You can see active archaeological excavations going on right now. It's a rodent jaw. Rodent jaw. So they were eating everything. That's all they had. Even rats. They ate their dogs. They found dog bones. And, they, and the dogs were important to them because they used the dogs for hunting. So to eat the dogs, it was part of their food supply too. And they ate their horses. <laughs> Any questions? Say again? He just said little Yeah, it's a it's probably a rodent some kind of a rodent song. Interesting. Lots of archaeology going on here. Active archaeology in Jamestown right here. Everything and everything. Let me show you over in this direction right now. I think there's a little cafe in here that people can go to, and I will come back to you in just a second to show you that.